I'm not sure what you see here, but I see an amazing pile of possibilities. Those are works of art that either had no name on them or went unclaimed at the end of last year. And we are going to use those happy leftovers to make collages today when we open up the Collage Center. Collage comes from the French word meaning to glue, and we definitely need a lot of glue when we collage. That's a picture of three different kinds of glue, and that's where the glue is kept in the art room. We also will need scissors when we are creating. There are three different kinds of glue that we can use in the art room. There's this regular glue. Remember, if for some reason you have a hard time opening it or the glue's not working, don't put a pencil in or poke it. You might have to pick the glue's nose to get that little bit of dry glue off. Oh, now he's breathing really well. When you're done, please remember to screw the cap back. We also have glue sticks, and you know not to push those too far up, and you remember to put the cap back on when you're done, I am sure. New this year are little cups of glue that you can use one of those little tiny paint brushes to apply your glue. Make sure you put the lid back on when you're done using that glue. And you can see I'm working over a piece of scrap paper. You'll also want to try to remember to rinse that little brush out and put it back where you got it. Thanks. So we talked about glue, we talked about scissors. We'll use plain paper to build our collage on. And I call that plain paper a base. That's the base for the beautiful work of art I'm going to create with the paper that I'll cut and put on top of it. You can see me searching through these beautiful painted papers for inspiration. What colors do I want? Is there something that I think could be an inspiration for an idea? Here's what I ended up choosing. I thought that black piece of paper looked sort of like space, and I loved some of those landscape things. That piece of paper in the upper right hand with all those spots on it, that totally reminded me of being at the beach when the waves hit and they sort of, all that water splashes. So that's what inspired me. So here you can see me making a collage. There's some paper I thought would be beautiful for waves and I cut it into wave shapes. I used a couple different ideas to um, make a sun and then you can see me carefully gluing it. I don't glue it until I get the composition just how I like it. I turned it over, gave it a good rub, and then I trimmed it to size. Here it is finished. I was really happy with how it looks. And remember the space one I liked? That's how that ended up coming out. I put a couple of stars on it and a cool comet. I was happy with that one too. To make cleanup easier on each table, I've put a little trash container. Please put your small scraps in there and then throw it away. That'll make it easier to make sure not to throw those little scraps on the floor. Here's some finished collages. I love landscapes and nature, so that's what you see a lot of. I also loved that I was able to come up with these collages out of something that was sort of abandoned art, things that people didn't want. I didn't draw first, I just kind of went for it, and I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys do too. Can't wait to see what you make.